Yo, what is up everybody and welcome to another Man 13 online game. Today we got Dominic Hickson getting laid out and we almost got a fumble recovery to start off the game after the big hit on special teams by DJ Williams. Instead, Dominic Hickson is on the cart, he's out for the game and this dude gets the ball back. So it'd be nice to have the ball in the red zone to start off the game for sure, but um, now he's got the ball and he's got the Giants, he's got Eli Manning, I got the Broncos, I got Peyton Manning, so it's a Peyton versus Eli showdown in the Meadowlands and um... Of course, Peyton's been doing his thing in Denver this year. But right now, Tracy Porter's doing his thing. Third down and six. We pick him off. And Tracy Porter has open field ahead. Reminiscence of Super Bowl 44. And Porter picked off Manning. Now, Manning and Porter are on the same team. So that's seven points for Peyton before Peyton even steps on the field. And that feels good. So our defense comes up big. We got a lead early in the game. That's good. Now we got to stop him because um we got that one big stop. We almost gets a big throw here to, I believe, Victor Cruz, but he drops it in coverage. And, um, we'll take that. But next play, he runs the screen to Andre Brown, and he gets big yardage, breaks a tackle, and thanks to the great um physics, I get tripped up. My dude gets tripped up instead of being able to make a play on Andre Brown. And he gets a touchdown. And he's going for two. Yes, he is one of those guys that likes to go for two and be a cheeser. And kick the um squib kick in the corner and all that. He likes to do all this stuff, thankfully. We recovered it, though. And we got a one-point lead. So now our offense comes out for the first time. Unfortunately, we get tripped up on the HB pass because Pierre Paul is just a good player, I guess. Got that. Though we go deep the next play. Hit up Demarius Thomas, who should have a walk-in touchdown, but he falls down. And me and the deep throw, I had problems with deep throws in this game. You'll see it later. It gets worse and worse. Stuff like him falling down all that. Next play, after that little dump down to Demarius Thomas. We had Demarius Thomas on the slant. I didn't really see him. I dumped out to um, Willis McGahee. He ended up getting a lot of yards after the catch. So we gave it back to McGahee, but he dropped the ball. Second and goal. McGahee wide open on the flat, but he drops it again. Oh, man. Third down. Drag route. Demarius Thomas, touchdown. So after our um, struggles in the red zone, we got it. We got the touchdown, and we're good. 14-6 lead, and we had a chance to get the pick, but instead we get called for pass interference on defense, which sucked. So now it's first down to 36 because of that, and um, Martellus Bennett just straight up dropping the ball there on first down. He had a few of those drops where it would drop and pop up in the air. I don't know why. So, um, there he runs that. It looked like, one of, like a money play or something to Hakeem Nicks. Next play, though, I bring the blitz, and he absolutely burns me with another screen this time with Bradshaw. And Bradshaw's all the way to the 12-yard line. Next play. I don't even know what to call that. <laughs> Martellus Bennett had another one of those drops. And it ended up right in Victor Cruz's hand. So Cruz ends up at the touchdown. I guess that counts as the Manning pass to Cruz. I don't really know what it counts as in the stat sheet. But what doesn't care, what I don't like is that. The onside kick. But what I do like is Tracy Porter again. I'm sure Peyton Manning feels pretty good to have Tracy Porter on his team right now. Because that's two picks on him for the day. And um, as soon as he cheeses me with the onside, we get him. And next play, Demarius Thomas, like 10 yards ahead of everybody. But he falls down again on the deep throw. Easy touchdown, but he falls down instead. Next play, we reroute Demarius. But Justin Tuck extends and picks us off. I saw him there, but I knew he had Justin Tuck. So I guess I underestimated the reach of Justin Tuck in coverage. God forbid I do that, you know. Never seen Justin Tuck pick off a pass like that in my life. What are you going to do? Unfortunately, he turns that into a touchdown of his own. DJ Williams doesn't react, and anytime your defender doesn't react, stuff like that can happen. So we had first and goal on one side, other side, he gets a touchdown. And now it's a 14-19 game instead of 14 to, like, what, 10 game or something like that, 12 game. So we get the ball back. We run the pitch. Um, the at HB pass, I mean, with Hillman, since he has a little bit more speed, but he fumbles the ball, unfortunately. Next play, to look at these goddamn physics. I call the screen. Unfortunately, I bump into him. A second later, Peyton Manning decides to react, and that trip just ended up killing the play because the other guys were coming on the rush too fast. Bringing up a third down and long, but we hit up a perfect deep throw to Demarius Thomas. Probably the only deep throw that went as perfectly as possible in this game. So we got that. Next play, squeeze a pass into Demarius. Two-minute warning. We see Demarius on the drag, but I am eyeing Willis McGahee the whole time. Very Peyton Manning-like, working through the reads and getting the touchdown. So now we got the lead back, two-minute warning hits. Pretty crazy game so far, and it only gets crazier, trust me. He tries to run the screen again, and I thought I had that one picked off, but I guess I did it. So he gets um, almost a first down. He gets it here in the third down in inches, though, after we stop him on second down in inches. So he gets that. Unfortunately, we lose a timeout here because this dude gets injured. I think he came back, so... 
you know, we lose a timeout. That sucks. But right now, the focus is getting him stopped, his offense stopped, and that's exactly what we do. Bring up a third down and 21. He tries to force it into coverage, and somebody, Carter, I think Tony Carter gets it. And now we are in field goal range for um, Matt Prater. That feels good until we get sacked right out of field goal range on 40-something seconds left. Next play, Demarius Thomas wide open, and I don't know how the hell I messed that up, but I messed it up. Next play, my O-line just doesn't block O.C., and anytime you don't block anybody, you're going to get that happen. So we don't get any points out of the good field position with suck. And look at this play. I send the big blitz to try to get the safety. But Champ Bailey takes the worst angle possible. And now all of a sudden, Hakeem Nix is at, what, the 8-yard the, the line. And he gets a free field goal. Free three points out of that. So that sucked. Halftime show. Um, who do you guys want to see in the playoffs? I like the playoff picture the way it is right now. With the um, Seahawks and... I think Bears is the wild cards in the NFC, and the Steelers, and um, I, I, the Colts is the wild card in the AFC. And there we miss a deep throw to start off the second half, by the way. Next play, the screen should be open, but McGay, he's ahead of the offensive lineman, and that never works. Third down, though, he ignores the out route and gets that. But yeah, I like the way the um, picture is, all the um, division winners, the way they are. So, I mean, I think it would be kind of funny to see the Jets in the playoffs, but what are you going to do? And there we have the flea flicker wide open. Just Peyton Manning misses it. Train Holiday wide open. Peyton Manning just misses it. This is getting frustrating. Like this is a reoccurring te theme so far in this drive alone. Third down though, we worked on um, Tammy back to the quarterback through the middle where it's open. We get the first down. Next play, we call the screen. But I tried to go throw the out route, but I threw it off my back foot. That didn't work. Next play, Dreesen drop ball. What is up with this drive, man? Next play, he com plays complete faculty. So. I'll just sit and wait, try to find somebody. Unfortunately, no one's really getting open. I see wide air, but for some reason, I didn't throw it. Instead, I threw it to, um, I think, Caldwell. I didn't trust the running back to catch the ball, and I ended up paying for it. But fourth down, we go for it because I was just frustrated at this point with the way this game was going. Thankfully, we do we get it. Next play, we run the screen. We finally burn him on the screen. He's been trying to send his blitz the whole quarter, so we finally got him burned. Should have gotten a touchdown, but I ran to my own guy. Of course, that's always been my Achilles heel this year. And then Rob Gronkowski gets the touchdown. All right, not Rob, but some other Gronkowski. And as soon as he gets on offense, we bait him into throwing a um, pass to the safety. We make it seem like the pass is wide open by giving him the um, inside there with um, Champ. And he ends up throwing a pick right to Adams. And now we get the ball. Now we get a ball gifted into the red zone. And he only sends one man. He throws himself into the O-line. As soon as he does that, I'm like, we got free space here at Peyton Manning. I don't care how slow he is. I think he could get that. And he gets it. Next play, Hillman. Touchdown. And now we got a nice lead here. We finally, for the first time in this game, got a two-possession lead. I've been trying to get that the whole game. And on top of that, the defense makes a big play here. Doomerville with the sack. Though on second down and 19, he gets a curl route here. Doomerville runs a little bit too far. And he doesn't get the first down, though, but he gets a nice yardage. But can he get the first down this play? Nothing open until he goes deep for, I believe, Bradshaw. And Bradshaw gets that one. Good throw by Eli. As we're about to head into the fourth quarter, we could have had a pick heading into the fourth quarter, but we don't. Instead, he still has ball. Third down and 10, I blow my coverage. And I give it to him. Easy first down to Ramsey's barred in there in the slant. Next play, Hakeem Nix coming out the backfield. I had no idea who was playing fullback, but he was apparently. Next play, Victor Cruz, little stick route, touchdown. And he's kind of back in the game here. As he squibs it to us, he did a quick, quick squib. I came out onside expecting the onside after earlier in the game. He didn't do it, he just squibbed it instead. So we got the ball back. Right now, it's all about getting a two possession lead. I don't really care how much clock it takes us to get there. Right now, we're all about getting at the field goal range. We tried to run the flea flicker here, and he sends the blitz. Unfortunately, we can't get it off in time. Third down and seven. We throw it to Trent Holiday, and it's just a little bit behind him. And we go for it on fourth down. I see X is one on one. I don't take it though. I see Y there. I, uh, I don't know why the hell I throw it here. As soon as I hit it, I was like, no, this is not going to work. And damn sure it didn't work. So now he has a chance to take the lead here with under four minutes to go in the game. Thankfully, we get a big time sack. I believe Doomerville came up again. It was holding and it didn't even matter. So it's second down and 18 now. He gets a nice throw here to hit Knicks. Works himself back in the field goal range. Of course, he's thinking touchdown, but we're thinking pick. Joe Mays with the pick on third down. The biggest play of the game so far is now, uh, now it's really running clock time. Under four minutes left. We run the flea flicker. We go deep and we work ourselves into field goal range. Make it a two possession lead. Burn clock. And then we get another first down here to Tammy. 
And now we're near the goal line. Things are looking good for us. He calls a timeout. Next play, we run the halfback, pit, halfback pass. And we're just going to run it for a good five yards with McGahee because he gave us that. He's using his timeouts here. Second down, we run it. Bring up a third down and two. We try to get the first down here, but we don't get it. So now decision time. We send it to the two-minute warning. We send our field goal unit out, but we bring back the offense for four down inches. We're going to try to end the game right now with the halfback pass. But my dude trips, um, I believe Justin, talk into me, and we don't get it. And now I look like an idiot for going up for it. Thankfully, Elvis Doomerville gets the safety to end the game pretty much because he has to punt it to me. He has no timeouts. I can need a ball and end it. For some reason, I wanted to do this halfback pass again. I have no idea why I did it, but I did it. And then um, next play, I ran out the um, heavy formation, I think. I don't even know what the hell I did here. I don't know why I did it, but I did it. Should have just knelt it, but um, it's okay because McGee didn't fumble it. And that'll be the game because now we kneel. Or, I, don't even, I think I ran the game like an idiot, but um, that's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like I said, not really a normal game of Madden, but um, hey, that's what you guys are here for, to see the unconventional um, crazy games of Madden and all that. And my commentary, I guess, for whatever that's worth. But um, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't for more games like this or kind of like this, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, guys.